How we do? What's up guys? Welcome to this tutorial where I'll be teaching you how to play Dominion or at least attempting to. So currently we have five Dominion maps, four broken or abandoned pirate ship maps and one dock, movable space dock, whatever it's called. So guys, let's begin with the first map, which is the abandoned pirate ship noon map. I'm going to draw around, so hope you don't get scared. All right, guys. So this is where one team begins. Alright guys, I didn't realize that my stupid webcam was in the way, this is Nedon from the future. So guys, this first icon means that a health pot is spawning there. Uh, the second one, the little thunder icon thingy, means that an oot pack is spawning there and there, there can be two types of oot packs. One small pack, which charges your oot only a bit, and one huge pack, which is only available in one mode uh, in the rainy map, which we'll cover a bit further, and that fully charges your ultimate. The third icon is a magnetic bomb which is again only usable and uh, only available in this training map which we will cover in the future and the most common of these signs is definitely the question mark which means either a regular bomb can spawn, a health pot can spawn or an OT pack can spawn. Alright guys, back to the video. These two items will always be bombs in the beginning and when the game starts they are gonna be charged up. So whoever is closest to it to the item should have priority over the rest so what do we have here we have one random place for items another random place for items so both teams are even and then we got bombs here we will always be bombs at the beginning and after you pick them up this also turns into a random item so it's gonna turn into a question mark and then it can again spawn like i said either a ulti pack or health pack or a bomb again but it will stay as random it won't uh it won't show you what's what's gonna spawn right now let's talk about the jump pads when do we want to use the jump pads well if our teammates are extremely stupid because when you die you're obviously gonna respawn from here right so if our teammates are extremely stupid and you just keep going here both of them if they have a Peter or somebody who can guard and zone them out pretty much he will just be swinging his skill and huge sword here so they will probably just keep on getting pushed back if you see that your teammates are doing this and they're repeatedly getting guarded off the uh, square then you want to go obviously i think this comes as common sense but still i need to tell you because this is going to be a complete beginner's guide so then you want to go over here and jump from the jump pad and then you either uh, mess up their mm, defense and catch them off guard in a way or they won't be able to distribute the work and you either you will make it onto the stage or these people will stop defending over there and just move to defend you and your teammates can make it onto the stage and then you just back and hope that they're good all right so that's what we need to remember two jump pads here one two two bombs from the beginning then this turns into a random item and this is a random item from the very beginning and can yield either oot pack, health pack or a bomb. And we also got this little stream down, which particles, you can look at the particles if you want to know where the stream is headed. Because the stream, the water can take you down if you're not, patient, if you're not uh, paying attention, it can just swoop you down. Alright guys, the second map, the sunset map. Now this is a really beautiful map. Let's, let's see what we have, right? So first off, this is gonna be what I talked about. If you see this icon, what did I tell you? You should think that this is the Oot Charge. So we got an Oot Charge pack here, but it's not, well, charged up. It charges up, if I'm not mistaken, in 30 seconds or one minute. Don't quote me on this, I'm not too sure. I, I can't give you the exact numbers. But what else do we have? This health pot this is also a, a health pot another health pot and then we have a bomb here why is that well all of these if i'm not mistaken are random you can have a bomb here you can have a bomb here bomb here like you do or a bomb here but instead we either can get wood packs bombs or health and in this case we got health in three places and only one bomb here so yeah, after you pick this up, again, you will have a question mark, which means either of the three can drop. Uh, not much to talk about this map. You spawn here or here, depending on your luck. 
we got four jump points one two three four the stream which i talked about is going down as you can see so it can very easily push you off the map if you're not paying attention if you get hit and say you're here you can very easily get drop down and off the map uh, not much else to talk about this map uh, in general you can jump on top of these poems if you wanna I don't know zone people out or if you wanna if you're playing a ranged character like hook for example and you're just jumping and aiming your skill downward you could pretty much do that but uh, yeah I think there's not much we need to talk about here another tip which I can give you but I think this is very well known if you're playing a legend like Ducky you can use the jump pads to jump up and then charge your ult while in the air but with the recent nerf that got added to it uh, Ducky now starts falling down so it's not really optimal but still it's uh, the best way to charge your ults but what one thing I really don't want you guys don't want to see you guys doing is just charging your Ducky outside of the square even if you clearly need to be there for your teammates and then just Coming here, using your ult, and dying. Don't do that. That's probably the dumbest thing I've seen. Alright, the late night map. Well, one team spawns here, the other team spawns here. That's pretty clear, that's pretty clear. That's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Now, this is always gonna be a bomb in the beginning, right? This will always be a bomb, and after you pick it up, again, it turns into question marks, and it can either be ult pack, health pack, or a bomb. This, if I'm not mistaken, is always gonna be a, a health pack. Don't quote me on this, but all the times that I've gone down to look or to pick this up, it has always been a health pack. This, at the very beginning, is also gonna be a bomb. And usually what happens is people come here. Again, I think I shouldn't repeat this, but the person who's closest to the item should pick it up, right? But if they don't do that, anyone can. And after people capture the square point over here, what they would do is just whoever is victorious and has enough health, they will either reset of the map or not, if they're not very, if they are not paying attention, or they will pick up this bomb. And yeah, that's kind of their victory price. Now I mentioned resets. When should you reset? Now, in solo queue and uh, generally in Dominion, if you're playing with randoms, I don't think it's very uh, good to reset because you, you never know what they're gonna do. Uh, your teammates could be good and they could hold a point, but uh, once I just reset, the, my both of my teammates were full health, and while I spawned over here, both of them went out, and the enemy just captured the point. Just I don't know one of the dumbest things I've seen. So yeah, if you're playing with good teammates, you know these players are good and they won't leave the square, sure, go for recess. But other than that, I personally do not have trust in my mates. So yeah, not much to talk about this map. We got bomb here, then turns random, health pack always here, uh, bomb here turns random, this also turns random, I don't know if I told you, but this also turns random after you pick up the bomb. and. We also got two jump pads, nothing impressive, only two here. So if you're playing Ducky, you can jump over and charge in the air. So this is the third map. All right, boys and girls, the fourth map, uh, probably my favorite map, the rain map. We got lots of things going on here and I got to explain to you. So first off, one team starts here, the other team starts there. Again, the person who's closest to it needs to pick up the bomb. These will always be bombs in the beginning. They will always be bombs. After you pick them up though, however, you will, uh, they will start randomly changing to a small oot pack, to a health pack or a bomb. Now, guys, like I said, we got items here, random items. I'm gonna write little question marks. We got some more random items which are not charged from the gecko. So this can also be one of the three. And then we have these two things. These two things are really important. Now let me explain. This is what I meant when I said uh, bomb icon. So this is what the bomb icon is, right? But this isn't just any bomb. This is the bomb that pulls you in. I'll show you in a second what I'm talking about. I got footage of it, but 
just remember that this is a bomb, one of those blue Pokeball looking things and it will just reel you in and you can very easily get comboed. So don't underestimate, this is kind of off the uh, center, so it's not very easy to see. But if you just remember that there's a bomb like that, you can go around, pick it up, and then you can make a game-changing combo. Alright, so we don't talk about this, random, like we said, doesn't really matter. Now this, this wood pack will always be huge. Now, while the smaller wood pack and the more common wood pack will charge your ability to eh, somewhat, you know, this fully charges your ability. If the other wood pack gives you one charge of the Master Cat wood, this one gives you full charges, three. Same thing, if it charges a little bit of your Cindy wood, this one will fully charge your ulti. So this is a high priority item, in my opinion. Every time you get a reset, or even if you don't have a reset, you need to keep a mental timer of when this is gonna spawn. And just, even, this can really make or break a game, in my opinion. So you can go up the stairs, pick it up, if you think you have enough time, or what people usually do is after they reset, they just go around, see if it's up, sometimes they'll fight for it, contest it, pick it up, and then just begin fighting again. And a little tip I've seen uh, people do, if you play Flare and you have your root charged up, you're here, you just shoot it, it reaches the map everywhere, you get bombs, and then you pick up this wood pack and you get another second wood. So yeah, this is a high, high priority item in my opinion. People really need to pay attention to it, keep an eye out on it, for it, and yeah, try to pick it up when available. Now I'm gonna explain or show what this bomb does. Alright, like we can see from this footage, which queen has picked up the bomb. Look at this. She has the bomb and pay attention what it does. Alright, this is, probably isn't a good example, but this is what the ball looks like. Blue, uh, red, I forgot my colors. And Pokeball Go. It zooms like that and it pulls people in to the circle. Or to the center, sorry. Now, he didn't manage to land it on me, or she didn't manage to land it on me, but if it landed, I would have been pulled straight to the center. So, like I said, this is also a an important item, though if I had to prioritize, I would definitely pick the Uj Charge Pack, uh, or rate the Uj Charge Pack as more valuable than this Pokeball. Alright guys, and last but not least, the movable platform map. The newest map which you got, it's super fun, but can also be very irritating if you don't know what is happening. Now, so, both teams, one team begins here, the other team begins there. This is gonna be random. It, sometimes it's gonna be an Uchi charge pack, sometimes it's gonna be a bomb, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think it's ever spawned as a health pack from the get-go. So, yeah, this can either be a Uchi pack or a bomb, if I'm not mistaken, don't quote me on this again, but I think that's how it goes. So, yeah. Uh, here, if it's spawned as a Uchi charge pack, you need to pick it up, as long as you're not Snow and some other legends whose woods are very easily chargeable and don't really too much. Snow wood can very easily get charged, you smack people twice and then your wood is up, so you wanna leave somebody else to have it. Alright. So what about the jump pads? Well, we got one jump pad here, one jump pad here. If this platform moves and it moves this way, we won't have the use of any jump pads. So really this is kind of a simple map when it comes to items and jump pads, but what makes this map is actually the platform. The platform itself, like I said, moves. So when does it move? Guys, memorize this. This was actually said by my girlfriend. At 0.33 it moves and then at 0.03 seconds. So for example, 2.33 it moves, 2 minutes 33 and then it's gonna move again at 2.03 every 30 or so seconds it moves at 33 seconds and at 03 seconds guys remember so what you can do about that when you have this info well if you see that it's starting to jiggle a little bit it, it do jiggle queen uh then you can okay i just lost my brain cells but then you just uh want to make or jump onto it and while you're on it do not do not jump off because if it starts moving and you jump off or jump up you will end up on this platform that's underneath it and not uh, the platform that actually moves so yeah when it's starting to jiggle and 
show signs of life, you wanna just stay on the ground or stay grounded and yeah, try not to get killed in the meantime. And also if you get hit while it's moving, well, tough luck for you, especially if you uh, get hit by a Kaiser, well, you pretty much just fly, fly off. But yeah, what I want you guys to remember here is oh, 33 seconds. Oh my god, this is horrible. And oh, 3 seconds. So yeah, not much else going for it. Uh, you can hold off to the edge, not jump. And yeah, I think that's all I gotta say about this. So hope this video is useful. I don't know, I was a random idea, but hope it helps some people out. Out. If you find it useful, smack a like and sub. And I guess this is all I have to say for now. If I for, if I've forgotten something, I'ma just do it in an extra video. All right, boys. Thank you for watching, boys and girls. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.